Let's see if she working. Uh, 240. Two. So she hot again. There were no sparks, surprisingly enough. Uh, but it seems to be active here and all. I'll go check at the other panel. Well, I cranked her on. Let's see if we've got 240 here. Yeah, sure looks like it. So the grid, make sure I did the right one. Grid, yes. Generator load. Uh, so I'm going to fire this converter back up and uh, see what we got. This is one of those situations, too, where I've got a breaker on the other side of the house for this 240. So this is live, and it's going to be live all the time. So if I'm ever messing with this or wanting to get in it, I need to go remember to go all the way back there uh, to the back room and shut stuff off. That's one of the reasons I like putting breakers close, to, close by so I can just piddle in here maybe i want to mess with something else in here but because those are going to be live all the time and and i'll forget <laughs> so that's one of the reasons i do breakers everywhere but on this one i just went right from the sub panel on the other side directly into this one of the big things i'm trying to get into is uh making sure i turn it off and turn it on correctly every time For some reason that's not sinking into me real well but uh, the first part of these are all, uh, from 1 through 5, is just confirming everything's off and voltage. And then it looks like you basically uh, start off with turning your battery on. Then you close the PV switch. Then you turn on the AC input, which I just put in here. Oh, what's it doing? I can noise. All right, shut off. There we go. Oh, it's getting sunnier outside. Uh, clouds may be clearing. <laughs> I thought it was something to do with the AC, but no, apparently the sun's coming out. That's a good thing. All right. All right, back to where I was at. So I guess what they want you to do is check all your voltages first, power up the batteries first, turn on the PV switch second, third, turn on the AC or the generator, turn those both on, then you turn on the inverter on the side switch in the unit, side switch here. And I kind of let it wait a little bit because it kind of goes through little steps and clicks and does this thing. I make sure that the uh, Wi-Fi is hooked up and has three lights before I turn and last but not surely you turn on the EPS outlet switch which basically turns the whole thing on really it's not the on off switch on this side so I make sure that's in that seems to be the order of it in my case I also make sure my BMS is hooked in I got a good reading on it too I notice if it's not really awake and before I do all of this, I make sure I charge my uh, the inverter again, the capacitor and the inverter from the batteries, bypassing all this stuff with a resistor to kind of slowly charge it up without big, getting big sparks. So there's a few things more to do with this thing. Oh, turning it on, but I want to make sure I keep doing it right. And it seems like I got it right. <laughs> didn't, didn't electrocute myself today. Yay, that's always a good thing. Well, it seems to be up and running. I don't have much of a load on it right now. And it's cloudy outside, but, uh, well, I'm curious as to uh, how I can make this AC now work for me uh, and uh, keep these batteries topped off when they get really low. Uh, so I'm going to be fiddling with that. I it looks like it's hooked up uh, and good to go. I'm going to be putting my well and my sump pump on this thing, too. There's my well, 240. And I've got a couple other spaces to put out some other stuff. I think that's more than enough for this one inverter.
especially if I decide to go ahead and do double poles here uh, instead. And then I may try hooking in the hot water heater too. I may put it in there. And then to get more circuits, use these in these two spots. So I think that's enough for now. Uh, and we'll go from there. The next step would be hooking in the generator plug. And I ha still haven't figured out what I'm really going to do there. Uh, but I'm obviously want to put maybe some kind of plug here or some way of getting it back to my generator in the garage, which is all the way on the other side of the house. So I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that, but I'll figure something out. If I have any other quirks with it, I may be fiddling with it the rest of the next week before I put out a video. That gives me kind of a week to play around with it, do some adjustments and stuff. So we'll, we'll go from there. I'll show you what my uh, phone app is uh, showing right now. Well, I am dumping some serious power into my batteries right now from the grid while it's running my load. So this is pretty cool. I'm glad I hooked the AC. We had a pretty nasty storm come through here. And my batteries were down. It's been cloudy for the last few days. And uh, they were kind of depleted a little bit. So I hit the quick charge. Bumped my amps up to 100 amps. Uh, and now she's feeding in this much power. And uh, going to town. And I had a bad cell breakout. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there or why these batteries dropped that much. I, I guess I need to... I should have balanced them better before I put them on. Each battery was its own separate, now it's together. But uh, I'm going to make sure the next battery I'm working on right now, I'm going to make sure it's all balanced really well. And then I'll put it on here, swap this one out, and then go balance this one again. I never did really balance them, and boy, it shows. This is the reading I get on my BMS when it shut off. But it's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't even know it happened. It just did it automatically and started feeding, charging itself up. and uh, So it's working like I thought it would. I hoped it would. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Now if I could just find a meter that actually works, I have two of those, and they're both broke for some reason. I gotta quit throwing them into the pond. I don't know why. It's, surely it's nothing I did to it. This is a amp meter I have that broke down. This is this is kind of a something in regards to the difference. When I was uh, being raised, if you bought something that was made in China, uh, people would laugh at you. Uh, you knew it would probably break pretty quickly. It was inferior. It just wasn't good quality. This amp meter broke, and I looked on Amazon, who just pretty much sells all Chinese stuff, and found the equivalent meter on Amazon. And of course, this one was going for a hundred bucks, brand new. And the Chinese one, well, it was going for 60 bucks, and I thought, well, that's a pretty good deal. It was referred from another YouTuber that I've watched before, and uh, I thought, well, that's pretty cool. So I bought it. Well, and uh, I think there's a difference there. Uh, I guess people don't notice this anymore. <laughs> I sure do. I'm not even sure. If I can get that thing to open enough to go over a battery cable. <laughs> well, my next step is going to be to add in this other battery, which I'm topping off, and get it put in right in here. Tie them all and clean up this battery mess figure out a, a better way of doing this get it all cleaned up put the batteries in find out a way of covering the batteries uh, but uh, adding this battery in and then expanding my solar uh, doubling its size I have it out in the garage 
just sitting there waiting. So that's what's up and coming. Uh, will be the battery. I'll show you all kind of how I built the battery. Uh, the other one, how I test them and, and what I do there. And then uh, we'll install another set of panels. And then somewhere along the line, I'll figure out how to hook the generator into here. By then, I'll have pretty much everything set up. Uh, add the well in into the actual circuit here. Add a few other things into this. And uh, kind of go from there. My next video is going to be on testing this system now that I've got it hooked up to AC and figuring out its final settings and how it, I can make it work. Uh, I ended up running across some problems uh, in the weeks after to, uh, that I uh, had to resolve as well. And you'll see that on the next video. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, looks like I got my AC hooked up. Uh, I'm like it. I'm going to be playing with it a little bit. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Thanks. Take care.